This is the Pissifun Chaos XS. It's a round bait casting reel that's advertised for both freshwater and saltwater use, and is beefy enough to challenge some formidable game fish. I have a large amount of experience with the original Pissifun Chaos, and I've loved nearly every minute of it. But the real question will be if the XS can live up to the expectations of its predecessor. Let me start off by saying that this video is not sponsored by Pissifun. Round bait casting reels are very niche. Freshwater fishermen tend to prefer bait casting reels because of their casting distance and precision when using artificial lures. Saltwater fishermen, on the other hand, are usually more simple. I personally prefer to put a fresh bait on the end of a hook and cast the line into a place that I know has fish. Now, you might not think that's fishing, but that's a discussion for another day. However, I do have a special place in my heart for quality round bait casting reels because they accomplish a very specific role in my fishing practices. I like to fish for sharks, preferably three to four foot lemons and bonnet heads that put up a respectable but tolerable fight. There's a sandbar a bit far from the area that I fish from land that I can't reach with a spinning reel, but the Pissifun Chaos could drop half a pinfish right on it with ease. The sharks roam the sandbar, smell the bait, and I'm on. This is just my personal usage for round bait casters, but maybe you have your own purposes in mind, for example, surf fishing. So now that we know that there is a market for this reel out there, let's dive into the Pissifun Chaos XS round bait casting reel. The Chaos comes in three different sizes from smallest to largest, a 40, 50, and 60. I personally have the size 50 because I think it's a healthy mix between form factor and line capacity. This reel cost me $56 on Amazon, but you could get it for about $10 cheaper from the Pissifun website if you include one of their coupon codes. I only bought it on Amazon because Pissifun's standard shipping option didn't have an estimated delivery date. I'll leave links to both websites in the description below. The reel weighs 12.3 ounces and has a 5.3 to 1 gear ratio, meaning that the spool spins 5.3 times for every full turn of the handle. This is on the slow side in terms of gear ratio, but that's often compensated by power and torque. The size 50 can hold 250 yards of 15 pound monofilament line or 260 yards of 40 pound braid. As a reference, my original Pissifun Chaos, which was also a size 50, could handle 275 yards of 45 pound braid, so the previous version had the better line capacity. I personally plan to spool this reel with 30 pound braid, so I should easily be able to get at least 300 yards of line on it if I really want to. The 50 and 60 sizes of the XS come with a T-grip handle, which I absolutely love. The previous version of the Chaos had its own version of a power knob, but I'm very glad that they replaced it with a T-grip handle. The reel is sold in both right hand and left hand retrieve models, which makes it accessible to all anglers. And let me tell you, when it comes to saltwater bait casters and conventional reels, it is incredibly difficult to find a left handed retrieve model. Note that the 40 size model does not come with a T-grip handle, instead opting for a double-sided handle common in many bait cast reels. Drag is handled with a star drag system like most bait casters. The XS's star drag clicks whenever it's adjusted, which is an improvement over the original Chaos that doesn't. The max drag on the XS is rated at 20 pounds, which is a pretty respectable amount for such a cheap reel. I did a few tests to double check this claim. I was able to crank out nearly 23 pounds of drag before failure when using monofilament line. It might look like the line is giving way a bit sooner, but I'm pretty sure that was the monofilament stretching. To compensate, I did the same test with braided line, which doesn't stretch, and the drag failed pretty close to the advertised 20 pound rating. It's both powerful and smooth, but it has to be tested on the water to see if it can handle the aggressive runs of various game fish. I'll get back to you guys in the future on that. The reel's braking mechanics use six pin centrifugal brakes as opposed to magnetic. 
Centrifugal brakes are usually used by higher quality and more expensive reels and work really well in preventing backlash at the start of a cast. As a comparison, the $40 Abu Garcia Black Max, often considered a cheap entry-level bait casting reel, uses magnetic brakes. Although centrifugal brakes are often preferred by anglers, you must open the reel in order to reach and adjust them, while magnetic brakes can be adjusted at the turn of a knob on the body of the reel. As an angler, you'll likely have to choose between optimal performance and convenience when it comes to this issue. Another great feature about this reel is its line clicker. On the opposite side of the handle is a lever that toggles the line clicker on and off. Its design is a bit different from the original Chaos, which had more of a switch that could be flipped back and forth. The original design was sometimes tricky to use, as I would find myself trying to flip the switch upward when it really needed to be pushed away from me. The XS's lever design is much more intuitive and it's much more forgiving about which direction you push it. In terms of functionality, the clicker is great for live bait fishing. As soon as a fish takes the bait, the line clicker will audibly notify you that a fish is on the line. In my opinion, the clicker on the original Chaos has a louder clicking sound, but the XS's still does the job well. An upgraded line guide is another great improvement over the original Chaos. The XS has a reinforced line guide that's supported by two shafts, which will hopefully make line distribution easier and more stable. I spooled the reel with 25 pound monofilament and was pretty impressed. The previous Chaos did not have a balanced spool right out of the box, and there were very vague instructions about how to fix the issue. This would often lead to a problem of having too much line spooled on one side of the spool. In my opinion, I think the XS achieved a pretty even spooling. This is especially important since a bad spooling job can lead to ghost drag, which is when you can't reel in line because it's not catching on the spool. I experienced this problem several times on the original Chaos. The XS also has a very nice dedicated thumb rest that allows you to better grip the reel when battling a tough fish. The thumb bar was changed between the two versions of the Chaos. The original Chaos featured a U-shaped thumb bar, while the XS has more of an S-shaped one. Personally, I don't think the change is a big deal, but I like the U-shaped design. I don't think I'll have any problems with the S-shaped design, but I guess time will tell which one I prefer. These were all the most obvious good things about the reel. If you're a bit more technical, you might be interested to know that the XS has four carbon fiber drag washers and a Hamai cut brass drive gear. I couldn't find that much information about the differences between Hamai cutting and CNC when it comes to drive cutting, but all I heard was that the Hamai cut is very precise, which in theory would really help with the power and torque of the reel. There aren't a whole lot of companies that seem to use Hamai cut gears, but 13 Fishing uses them in their Concept, Inception, and Origin bait cast reels, which tend to stay above $100. Finally, the reel is made of aluminum, and all of its ball bearings are corrosion resistant, which should make it ready for saltwater use. Now let's transition to some of the shortcomings of this reel. The first thing I'd like to point out is more of a cosmetic issue as opposed to a functionality issue. Towards the top and back of the reel, there is large text that specifies the gear ratio and number of ball bearings in the reel. I thought this was very odd. While I do like the idea of having some technical information available on the reel, like line capacity or max drag, I felt that the large white text was a bit excessive. The information could have been presented in small text on the sides of the reel instead. I think it was especially weird that the number of ball bearings was one of the pieces of information being displayed here. Again, why not max drag or line capacity, which is information that would be useful if you don't have access to the manual or the box. This cosmetic design choice bothered Junior more than me, but I plan to scrape off the text once this video has been posted. Also, some of the text and logos on the sides of the reel are upside down when seated on a fishing rod. I'm not sure if this was a quality control issue or simply a design flaw, but I think it's safe to say that all the text on this reel is out of whack. I'm also disappointed about the line capacity on this reel. 
I feel like line capacity should improve and become more efficient between iterations of a certain reel, so finding out about the downgrade was not very fun. The handle on the XS is in a slightly different position than the original Chaos. The XS's handle is noticeably closer to the body of the reel, which poses two problems. First, it's a tighter squeeze to reach the tension knob because it's pinned against the star drag. Secondly, the T-grip isn't as effective because it has to be held at an awkward angle. My spinning reels with T-grips extend the handle far away from the body of the reel, so the XS just feels unnaturally close and requires a narrow grip. Even though that's the case, I can see myself getting adjusted to that. Finally, the thumb grip is a bit of a two-faced issue. I personally like the inclusion of the thumb grip, but I'm concerned that it will affect the ability to properly control the spool when casting. Usually, I thumb the spool to help it slow down and prevent backlash when casting, but the grip may make it difficult to reach down into the spool. I know that's what the centrifugal brakes are for, but I really like to thumb the spool as kind of like an added security. I'm not really that great with backlashes, so the more that I can prevent them, the better. Also, not everyone will benefit from this grip. If you have small hands, you'll likely find it better to hold onto the fishing rod or the reel seat instead, which will limit the power and control you have over the reel. So what do you think about the Pissfun Chaos XS? At only $55, do you think it's worth the price? It's often very difficult to find a product for such a niche audience, so I'm very pleased with the work that Pissfun put in here. If you have any questions or concerns about this reel, or even my experience with the older reel, feel free to leave those in the comments below. Also keep in mind this is more of a first look review, so once I'm able to get back out on the water, I'll be able to test in more detail some of the things that I couldn't from an indoor setting. If you'd like for me to make an update video about this reel in a few months, just let me know in the comments below. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.